I thought we'll just get started by asking uh, how uh, recovery looks to you. Here in the United Arab Emirates, we have a very proactive vaccination program. More than 6 million doses have been administered so far, and we are closing in on 50% coverage across our entire population. Today, we are the second highest rate in the world. And in our view, vaccination coverage is one of the keys uh, to recovery and to post-COVID uh, recovery. The other, of course, is uh, economic activity. Looking regionally, we see that one of the major powerhouses of the global economy, and I mean China here, has already recovered in GDP terms. And in fact, is back to robust growth. We see similar uh, return, healthy return in India. And we expect another key player in the global economy, and I mean here the US, to return to its pre-COVID uh, level of GDP this year. And we do expect that this will continue uh, into 2022. So what does this mean uh, for oil demand? From last year's low of about 75 million barrels per day, the rebound in oil demand has been robust. Global consumption is currently around 94 to 95 million barrels per day, and we expect it to rise to above pre-COVID levels by the end of this year. You have been put a great emphasis on being competitive uh, in, and staying competitive, and uh, how are you addressing that? In fact, it is our view that being a low-cost producer in today's market and in today's environment is, in fact, a critical success factor if you're serious about sustaining your business and staying in the market. And uh, it is our view that the best way to manage any period of uncertainty is to stay focused on what we can control. And in our business, it is simply our costs. For Adnoc, we believe one of the essential enablers of increased efficiency is technology and applying and embedding advanced technology wherever we can. For example, through technology uh, and technology upgrades to our drilling business, which is the largest in the region, we have driven efficiency gains of more than 35%, enabling substantial cost savings. Our Panorama Digital Command Center, for example, which I know you have also seen and visited, has also been a game changer in, in turning big data into real tangible results in terms of significant savings. Maybe you could elaborate on how you're preparing ADNOC for energy transition. The whole of the UAE has been preparing for the energy transition for more than 15 years. And rather than shying away from it, we have always seen the energy transition as a true unique opportunity to help diversify and develop and grow our economy. And as you know, uh, as the founding uh, CEO of Masdar, I was closely involved in growing the UAE's renewable energy portfolio and investments. And today, the UAE has three of the largest and lowest cost solar projects in the world with significant renewable energy projects in more than 30, 30 countries globally, and we continue to grow our renewable energy footprint. Having said that, we also understand that the world will still need oil and gas for many decades to come. There's no question about that. So our mission at ADNOC is to provide that oil and gas as responsibly as possible, and by being the lowest cost producer and the lowest carbon emitter. Here in the UAE, we have a dual advantage, a leadership that has always put environmental protection and environmental stewardship first, and a natural advantage because our geology gives us some of the least carbon intensive oil in the world. And that's a fact. And at ADNOC, we are building on this position by reducing our carbon intensity by further 25% over the next 10 years. You've been thinking a lot, and you obviously one of the hats that you wear is as climate envoy about CCUS and about a cross-sectoral approach. And uh, would you share your thinking on that? The truth is that there is no credible way of reaching global climate goals without seriously advancing and ensuring the widespread adoption of CCS. 
And of course, this goes beyond just the oil and gas industry. Uh, I see an opportunity uh, and an important role for CCS across sectors that are uh, hard to, car to decarbonize uh, and use uh, the most energy, such as heavy industry, manufacturing, and chemicals. So uh, for us uh, in ADROC, we do see uh, CCS as a as an opportunity. Uh, we continue to see it as a game changer. And we are very ready to partner with others within uh, and even outside our industry to enable wider uh, CCS uh, adoption.